So we have the next uh, presentation from uh, Wikimedia Italia and uh, Anis, over. Thank you, thank you, Enoch. Hello, everyone. My name is Anissa Cuzzi, and I work for the Italian chapter, which is Wikimedia Italia. So as you might have assumed, we're going to talk about what Wikimedia Italia as a local chapter does for the Italian community. So first of all, I really want to share with you that I'm extremely excited to be here in this stage today because my last presentation, actually my first ever presentation and last so far at State of the Map was five years ago when I attended for my first time ever State of the Map in Japan <laughs> and I was a scholar. And I'm really proud and I'm really grateful to be here today as one of the organizers from the local team. So <laughs> really encouraging and maybe motivating for someone who is new in the community. I joined the, the event for the first time as a newcomer and here I am today as, well, part of the local team and working for the Italian chapter. So. I'm a member of the OpenStreetMap Foundation. I'm a member of one of the working groups of the OpenStreetMap Foundation, which is the local chapter in St. Communities working group. And I'm also part of a newborn group born in Italy, um, dedicated to diversity and inclusion topics, and it's called Cosmopolis. Maybe some of you hopefully have heard about it. What is Wikimedia Italia though? Wikimedia Italia, the Italian chapter, is an association that works in the dissemination of free culture uh, and free knowledge in Italy since 2005. 2005 because it's then when it became the chapter of the Wikimedia Foundation in Italy. And luckily, since 2016, it's also the chapter for the OpenStreetMap Foundation, and that means that it's the association that supports and works to bring forward OpenStreetMap and to promote it within the territory and beyond, if possible. Wikimedia Italia has a very big community, has contributors all around Italy, it is a small association of maybe a bit more than 300 members, as you can see. And it's the, the association that promotes Wikipedia, which you might already know, but there is also lots of other projects like Wikidata, Wikivoyage, Wikibooks. Wikidata is also one of the projects that collaborates a lot with OpenStreetMap and they are a very good combo and there are many projects that use the, the data that these two projects produce and collaboratively have together. Um, it's the association that also promotes OpenStreetMap, of course, and not only the projects, but also the contributors and the communities and their activities in Italy and sometimes also beyond the borders, if we can. What about OpenStreetMap in the Italian territory? We have some people here helping to, to bring forward activities. We have lots of contributors, but our main contributors and our main supporters and points of, of contact are our uh, coordinators. We have some of them here today, so I will also take the moment to kind of show you who, who they are. We have Lorenzo, who is our national coordinator, and he's right in front of me. And we, yeah. <laughs> and he has done an enormous job for all the activities that we have kind of uh, done and uh, we, have, we have worked on lately. And we also have coordinators in different regions in Italy. There are many regions. We are looking forward to have as many coordinators hopefully in the whole territory. But at the moment, we have Giacomo, who is here as well. We have, yeah, <laughs> they totally deserve the applause. We have uh, Marcello, who is not here, but he's following us online. Hi. <laughs> we have Lucia, Rosa, Marco, and Matteo. 
and they always work to bring forward the activities and to be like a point of contact for the volunteers in different regions and they bring what the, the association does, the voice, our voice brings it to the local communities and it's also like a point of contact for these local communities to kind of get to reach faster the, the association and yeah, thank you to, to all of them for all the work they do and for all the activities that they organize, even with institutions in our, like in these local communities, they are the people that institutions kind of get in touch and they get to Wikimedia Italia then. So the, the local chapter, Wikimedia Italia, does different kinds of activities to support OpenStreetMap in Italy. And we do things like supporting volunteers for their projects, and I'm going to, to go deeper into all these topics afterwards. We support organizing events, we do collaborations with entities, because of course it's easier to do collaborations if you're an institution rather than an individual. If you go and contact, I don't know, a public administration or a university, as an institution you have much more probability to have collaboration and to have a reply from them. We do trainings, we do presentation of open street mapping conferences, and one of the most important things, development of tools. Uh, of tools. I'm going to go briefly and explain or just tell you about some of the activities just so you understand better how we work as an association. Some of the of the of the activities that we have been uh, kind of supporting and collaborating with the community for the very last few years, I would say are, for example, um, uh, the ones you see here, they are, I got some of different examples that I had, for example, Improve Asti, which is a very local initiative of the Piedmont uh, local community and they uh, they collaborated with some local institutions that they had for uh, importing and getting some some of their data and we have created a task in the tasking manager and we have been in contact and helped and worked with them uh, map for future which is a very international initiative uh, of one of the um, rome active uh, uh, user groups and they are collaborating with the OSM Somaliland community, which is a very newborn community and small, but they are trying to grow. Cosmopolit, which is the group I was telling you about, we are doing things and we're trying to learn about diversity and inclusion topics. And yeah, we are kind of trying to, to bring that forward and to, to make the community more knowledgeable about these topics because it's really important. And another initiative is the one that uh, we had reports of the license violations and we kind of collected all these requests to, to, to and we contacted this website that used OpenStreetMap and they didn't attribute anything, they didn't have any attribution anywhere. So we kind of contacted them and most of them have responded and they, can, they have put the attribution. So it's this kind of small initiatives, but when you have many of them, you, you kind of have an overall of lots of, you know, good results after all. And we have organized or supported or helped organizing events or also financed maybe because that's always an issue for individuals. They cannot actually cover the expensive for, for expenses for events of all sizes. We have helped small events like mapping parties, mapathons, and the community is happy to, to always organize them. We are always happy to support. We have had, uh, we have supported a little bit bigger events like the national uh, state of the map, which would be OSMIT and phosphorg It's an event of maybe 100 people or maybe a bit more. And events of a bigger scale like state of the map, for example, here we are. And we are always excited to, to help out and to, to give our support in this kind of initiative, to bring the community together, to talk about topics and to, to socialize. We've had lots of open street map presentations in different events here as well of all kinds of events. Some of them are very um, open street map related. Some of them are 
only open data or flaws related, and some of them are not related at all to OpenStreetMap because it's important to also reach target group of people that don't know about OpenStreetMap and just tell them what it is, how it works, and why we do what we do. So yeah, we have all kinds of events here. Some of them are very free software. Some of them are OpenStreetMap related and very deep into the topics, and some of them not related at all. But yeah, we go and talk there as well. We have worked a lot in tools and development because it's for us really important to facilitate the community in their mapping, mapping activities. And we, we are working and will continue working to, to help as much as we can into the development. And mapping in OpenStreetMap is really important. It's, it's very important to have very correct data, everything precise, but it also needs to be fun. Like, this is something that sometimes we forget. It should be fun, so we try to make it as easy and as pleasant experience as possible for the contributors. So that's why we help on tool development. And I'm going to go through some of the most important tools that we have either developed or supported. We have developed the OpenStreetMap extracts for Italy, which uh, allows the community, researchers, or everyone actually in Italy or beyond the, 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 the territory to, to download the data sets of OpenStreetMap for the whole Italy, for the whole country, for region, for province, or even municipality. And there are different formats that they can download the data. We have uh, we've had a tasking manager for a long time. At some point, it was not uh, it was not updated anymore, and it was out of date, and it was not usable anymore. So what we did is we updated it. It required lots of work. Volunteers wouldn't be able to make it, so of course we're happy to to help in this case as well. So we updated it, and it's adapted for the Italian community. It's in Italian, and. Well, it's, it's a very useful tool that we use quite often in the events that we do. For example, we do mapping parties or uh, our birthday events and we map collaboratively. Uh, co collaboratively. And yeah, it's also used for, for different trainings that, that we do once in a while uh, as an association. We have our UMAP instance that it's also useful for the community and it's updated now. And we have collaborated with the local chapters and communities working group, and we have also the welcome tool in Italian. It's, of course, translated in many languages, and it's a very useful tool. We are happy to have it in, uh, to have it in Italian, so at least we can give the welcome to our newcomers in the community and bring them closer and hopefully make them feel welcomed. We have developed um, two different layers for the Italian community. One of them is the Italian map style. Everything is in Italian. And another one is the hiking map style, which is quite important for, for the Italian community, especially because we have an agreement with, um, with CAI, which is the Italian Alpine Club. And they are very much concentrated in the in the hiking trails and this kind of data. And they are very uh, like uh, they are a very high percentage of the user of the users of OpenStreetMap, but also contributors. So we we have this style developed. We are going to develop a few more styles. Hopefully, we are talking and we want feedback from the community on what it would be more interesting for them to have as a, as a future style for, for the map. We are going to put these maps in this official website. As you can see, we had a few services and it's kind of difficult to keep track of everything that we have. So what we did is, okay, we have to build a website. And this is our uh, OpenStreetMap Italy website, which can be found at uh, osmit.it. 
quite easy for, for the community to remember. And we have kind of uh, put together all the different services that we have developed or we have supported, or they are available and are some of the most important services that the, the community uses. And we have this website, we, we talk a bit about the, the local chapter, about the community, and we have all these services all together, easier to find for everyone. A part of the development and all these things that we do as a local chapter, of course, always with the help of the volunteers, we give the community also the possibility to just do their own activities. If you just need find funding, we can help with that and you can go ahead and you know follow your project by yourself. So we have different possibilities for this as well. Um, the, the, well, the first one is our mi micro grants, which are uh, up to 1,000 euros, and they are very easy to request. We encourage people to ask them if they are organizing a, a, a little muffin party or small events. They are, or any kind of initiative. It's not only for the for the events. We have the grants, which we call Bando Volontati, for anyone who is Italian and wants to know the, <laughs> what it is, because it's really important. I highly encourage people that are from the Italian community or doing projects in Italy to, to think about this possibility. We give a budget from uh, 1,000 euros to 10,000, and these are open also for the Wikimedia communities. It's not only dedicated to OpenStreetMap, but all the projects projects are very welcome and we're very happy to, to support and to, to, to bring forward the, the initiatives of the volunteers. Also, we do our annual planning together with the community, so it's something also that helps to go in the direction that also the community wants. It's not that us as a local chapter decide what needs to be done and then the community is just there to wait and see what happens. We ask them to collaborate with us, we ask them for feedback, we ask them to, to attend the meetings and to plan what we are going to do for the next year, for the next two years together, and let's work together on that. And also the budget, of course, is, is planned together with community. So I was very brief. I wanted to leave time for some questions. I hope I will get some interesting questions from you. And I'll just leave this slide with attributions. And I'm very open to any kind of question. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the talk. Um, my question would be, uh, why do you think there aren't more uh, chapters uh, or OpenStreetMap groups that are part of a Wikimedia organization? Because it seems that it has quite a lot of advantages. Well, it's something that I've thought about and, oh, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, I think that the Wikimedia local chapters are a very, well, a, a very good option for OpenStreetMap to, 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 to have as a support. At least what I see in Italy, the case is very, at least to me, it, it's successful. I hope it, it's the same for anyone else, but I think so. And yeah, I, I hope there, there will be more. I don't see a reason why this doesn't happen. Thank you for your, your presentation. I think it's really wonderful and it gives a, a lot of inspiration for the French community. Um, you showed the, the, the tool for uh, giving a welcome to the new contributors. Can you explain a bit uh, how it works and how do you distribute the work? Because I guess it's done collabor collaboratively. Uh, can, can you explain a bit how it works? Yes, yeah, sure. Well, of course, the developers know a bit more about the tool, but I know very the, the very basics on how it works. Uh, basically, it's this tool developed by um, mainly the local chapters and communities working group, and it, it's a very simple tool. You can just log in with your account, and there are some uh, predefined messages that you can send in your preferred language. I mean, per country or per region, because there are countries that have two or three languages, so it's a bit more complicated. So you can choose the language you want if you have more than one, 
and you can send this predefined message to newcomers because you see all the new names of people who have just joined and they have made their first edits. And basically, it's very easy to use as a tool. You can just log in with your OpenStreetMap account and send this message because it's very user friendly. And it's translated in extremely lots of languages and it's available for so many countries. I very highly encourage people who don't use it to take a look, welcome tool, and to, to start thinking about using it because it's a very simple thing that might have a very big impact to, to new users because you can actually write whatever you want in that message. For example, your main channels, or if you have a monthly meeting, you can just announce it there, or if you have a specific group that you use and not another, you can just say it there. You can personalize the message each time that you send one if you want to, but you also have this predefined version and it's really easy, it's convenient. Yes, sure. Yeah, this is the Italian one, but it's in many languages, many countries, yeah. Um, I, will, I will go ahead, I'll, I'll ask my question. Um, I suggest, I think that um, in my mind, um, Wikimedia is about media, right? Wikimedia is yeah. about? Media. Not really, so do you want me to explain a little bit more? I'm happy to do it. So it's called Wikimedia Italia, and it's maybe in the name it, it uses media, but it's actually a very big community and very big projects, and it had it has lots of sub projects. So it has Wikimedia Commons, for example, which is uh, dedicated only to multimedia material released with an open license, but it's also Wikibooks, it's also Wikidata, it's also Wikipedia, and all these pro it's also Wikivoyage, and all these different projects have different objectives, and they take care of different things, and they have different kind of material. For example, Wikipedia is an encyclopedia, Wikibooks is a book, Wikidata has all kinds of data possible, and that's why it's so important to, to have Wikidata and OpenStreetMap collaborate together because they have lots of data and this is how it works it's I don't know exactly why it's Wikimedia specifically but it includes lots of other projects and it's uh, it's like the Wikimedia world and then so many sub projects uh, below that that you can contribute to okay um, my, my real question is also about uh, uh, how what uh, apart from uh, mapping uh, what kind of um, what other kind of uh, collaborative way do you have uh, or can you have among OpenStreetMap community and Wikimedia community because in my country I know there is a Wikimedia community mm -hmm. but I wanted to to work with them but until now I was trying to figure out what kind of thing we can do together uh, apart from mapping if for example OSM community is able to do something for Wikimedia and Wikimedia also is able to do something for OSM community so the the very interesting things about that's why I also find very um, useful having Wikimedia as a local chapter and of course there might be other organizations that are very important as well but in this case I like the fact that all the the open Street map and all the Wikimedia projects, they are very, um, uh, they exchange lots of information, they, they have lots of interoperability. And for example, you have Wikivoyage that uses OpenStreetMap to locate the places, or Wikidata that you can geolocate, uh, you can put geolocalization. And all the projects use each other's data. You, you can put the Wikipedia articles on OpenStreetMap or Wikidata. And, you know, there are many ways to, to kind of bring the projects together and make them collaborate. And really highly, highly recommend also to pass at the Wikimedia Italia booth because we also have a game and oh, we are giving away uh, a state of the map towels <laughs> for people who play this game, which is not a, a real game, but it's uh, this kind of contribution 
and people, uh, my colleagues are going to explain, it's really interesting, but it's a collaborative way to contribute to OpenStreetMap and Wikidata, and y y you'll find very interesting stuff about that. And Dakio, the guy who's taking the pictures, <laughs> takes care of that, yeah. <laughs> Don't be shy, even afterwards, you can ask me, but I'm here now, so feel free to, to ask anything. <laughs> oh, are we done? So please, if you have any questions, uh, I, I'll be around. I'm always happy to chat if you haven't seen me talking the whole weekend. But I'm always happy to chat, to exchange ideas, to, to, to hear proposals. And please let me, let me know if you have something interesting to, or collaborative to, to, to share. I'm around. Thank you.